What are your thoughts on Uniswap shutting down certain tokens? Mm, they... I, no one has worked as hard as Uniswap to make an open source front end that anyone can host. If you want... So for instance, they didn't add hex to their front end forever because to some degree they suck. But they made an open source project that you could easily just fork and add hex yourself and host. So if you go to ethhex.com, that's what that is. It's a fork of the Uniswap, you know, V2 front end. So it, I, I give them respect and credit for making good open source software and if if it's within their legal risk profile that they just want don't want to do certain things that's fine that's their prerogative and it's particularly fine because you can just go host your own and there are many 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 different uh, uniswap front ends and there are the majority of uniswap trades don't come from that front end they come from other places aggregators contracts you name it so it, it is it is their right to do what they think is in their interests and it is open source because they made it so and then you can go and host your own wherever you want and lots of people do they just upload them to ipfs and you know they're off to the races so it, i mean people want to like the uni token was duct taped on it is just proxy for the VCs apparently controlling everything. They did give 20 million away to something that I don't think deserved it. And most people don't think deserved it. Um, the, the people that got the 20 million voted for themselves to get the 20 million and were like a large portion of the votes. And you're just like, uh huh. Mm hmm. Yeah. This is all a little funky, but all that aside, editing their front end to, you know, for specific legal risk reasons is totally reasonable if like less reasonable is just not adding hex on there because they don't understand how amazing it is like that's less reasonable but legal reasons well sure go ahead like that's more reasonable <clears throat>